A Food and Drug Administration committee has confirmed that many over-the-counter cold medications don't actually work. The committee determined medications containing phenylephrine, phenylephrine, am I saying it right, Doc? Phenylephrine. Phen phenylephrine, there we go, are ineffective as a decongestant. To explain more, we're joined by Dr. Letitia Shea, an associate professor at pharmacy practice at Regis University. I think the first question, at least it was mine, what medications are we talking about here? We're just talking about decongestant, uh, de a decongestant phenylephrine, and it is usually in combination products. And so it is used to uh, break down uh, if you have uh, congestion, it can maybe uh, help you with uh, clearing your, your nasal mucosa. But really what they've shown is that it's not really that effective for that, at least in the oral formulation. Okay, so what's stunning about this is this is all these products that we see all the time. You know, it, cold season yeah. starts like here soon, and people are stuffing their carts with day quill, night quill, this quill, that quill. None of these really work, and they've known about it for a long time. They've known that phenylephrine is not that effective of a decongestion. It, usually in the studies, they've shown that it's pretty similar to placebo or equal to placebo, even at doses bigger than that what we have available over the counter, which is 10 milligrams is the most that's available over the counter. And they've known since how long? About 2007 is when a lot of the evidence came out. But that was really, it was coming out that time because they were questioning why these products have phenylephrine when it's not effective. But the reason they were in those products was because Sudafed was no longer available over the counter. They moved Sudafed behind the counter, which is an effective decongestant because it can be used to make methamphetamine. And that was, yeah, I know, like you couldn't buy it, especially if you were a certain age, you couldn't buy Sudafed, right? I think that's mm -hmm. still the law, right? You need to have a driver's license um, and you should be, I believe you have to be 18 years old. Mm -hmm. That's my go-to and I feel like, well, it's not over the counter so you know, you know, it's gonna work and that's been proven, but like what are our options now if we can't go to the stuff we're used to? Certainly, and I think that, you know, Sudafed is available. It's not available in those products, readily available OTC, but you can go to the pharmacy with uh, your driver's license and get some decongestant uh, Sudafed, and so that is effective. If you're not going to do behind the counter or a decongestant isn't appropriate for you, I think it's really important to evaluate why you have congestion. If you have congestion because you have allergy symptoms that may be augmenting your cold symptoms, then there's things that you can take, such as intranasal steroids for, decon for congestion. If you're not, if you don't have any allergy symptoms, this is completely the cold. Um, one of the best things you can do is intranasal saline. It's safe, mm -hmm. effective, and it has been shown to minimize symptoms and shorten the length of time for a cold. Yeah, a lot of people think it's just a pain to do, but it, if it works, come on, when you're sick, get better. Absolutely. So is there a big takeaway for all of us here? I mean, I guess we tend to overreact sometimes and take a bunch of things to address a bunch of symptoms. I think that's a really good question because what symptoms are you presenting with? Den generally with the cold, you don't immediately have all of the symptoms. It usually starts off maybe with a little bit of a sore throat, um, some pain, and then the runny nose starts, yeah. and, you know, it goes through. So focus on medicines that target that specific symptoms versus using multiple medications that you may or may not need. And a lot of times with combination products, they have sub-therapeutic doses. It's lower dosing than what we've shown to be effective. So I would focus on the symptoms. Do you have congestion? You can use decon you can still use that Sudafed behind the counter. You can use intranasal saline. There's intranasal decongestants that are still readily available. Oxymetazoline. Um, you just got to be careful not to use it too much. But there's a lot of things that are still available. It's just phenylephrine, which we've known for a long time isn't that effective anyway. I feel like we've been saying that about cold medicine in general. It's like, yeah. you know, it's just going to soothe you for a little while, but it's not going mm -hmm. to fix anything. Yeah, right? there's no cure over the counter. Mm -hmm. And really, most of the evidence suggests things like saline or honey for cough. So you don't even need to go to the pharmacy. Simple stuff. Yeah, yep. yeah. Listen to grandma or whatever. I know. Just somebody <laughs> help me be able to like use the saline on uh, a three-year-old because oh, that's what's challenging. That's oh, hard. Yeah. Yes. Saline is great for the babies though. But they won't let me do it. That's know, the problem, Dr. Shea. I know. They get so angry. <laughs> Mine got do. used to it eventually. They'd they'd see me come and just lift their nose. <laughs> oh, let's get to that. I love that. We got to get there. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, get that gosh. snot out there. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. It My really pleasure. helps us clear some things up, and yeah. we'll all think about it next time we get that runny nose. Thank okay. you, Dr. Shea. Absolutely.